modeling data with linear functions. So we're not going to get into putting the data into a calculator and looking at it as a scatter plot and then finding a line of best fit that is a little bit more in the statistics area, uh, finding the line of best fit and its slope and its, uh, its equation, excuse me. We're going to model the data with linear functions and make predictions and we're gonna be given the information necessary to come up with a linear function, okay? So that's our objective again. We wanna model data with a linear function and make predictions, okay? Oftentimes, we're presented with, a data, with data or situations that can be modeled with a line. All right? For example, height and weight. As your height increases this way, your weight increases, and a line is often a good fit for height and weight. Modeling it with a linear equation, being able to draw a line that fits the data. In these cases, we can calculate a slope using two points. And here's a model and you can see two points that have been highlighted. We can write the lines equation in point slope form using the slope at one point. So we'll have to calculate the slope, which we're doing here. We can solve for what, excuse me, solve for y to put it into slope intercept form. We can then rewrite it as a function and put it into function notation and use the function to make predictions. So we're gonna do all those things here with example one. All right, I'll have to slide it up, but I'll, I'll kind of go back and forth, I think, to help us out. So example one, here is some data. The graph below shows carbon dioxide concentration in parts per million. Okay, right here on the x-axis, 310 parts per million, 320 parts per million, etc., cetera, and the, and the associated global temperature in degrees Fahrenheit. So as you can see here with this point, when the average carbon dioxide concentration is 326 parts per million, the global temperature is 57.06 degrees. Use the graph and the two points highlighted to create a linear function that models this data. Use this linear function, excuse me, using this linear function, what would you expect the average global temperature to be at a concentration of 560 parts per million? Well, this graph goes to 390, so 560 is way out here, and it ought to be up here somewhere is my guess, okay? So let's first find, let's first, remember our number one up here? Okay, we wanna come up with this, we need the slope. Okay, so let's find the slope. Okay, so number one, the slope is the change in y over the change in x. We've been given two points, so let's use them. 57.99, there's the change in y, minus 5706, divided by the change in x, 385, minus 326. Okay, that is equal to uh, 0.93 divided by 59. If I do that division, the slope is approximately to the hundredth, 0 0.02, two hundredths. Okay, now we got the slope. We wanna come up with the equation of a line. Well, we have the slope, we have two points. Neither of them is the intercept. Well, we can write this equation in points uh, in point slope form using the slope in one of the points. So let's do that down here. So number two, we know that the point slope form is y minus y1 equals the slope times x minus the x1. Okay, so I'm going to choose the point. Um, what point am I choosing here? I'm going to choose this point right here. Okay. So y minus 5706, 5706 is equal to 0 0.02 times x minus 326. Okay, so let's, uh, yeah, we're done.
there you go. There's the point slope form of the equation of a line. We just needed the slope and a point, substitute, and we're done. Okay, now to work, make it a function, we need to have kind of a y equal. So let's go back up here to step number three. Solve for y to write the equation in slope-intercept form. Okay, so I'm going to go back. I'll do three up here. My equation is y. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and solve this for y. Well, I'll tell you, I'll write it out first. y minus 5706 is equal to 0 0.02 times x minus 326. Okay, let's now solve it for y. Uh, y is equal to 0.02x. I'm going to distribute my 0 0.02 minus 6.25, excuse me, 52 plus, I'll move this over, 57.06. That's cleaned up the right side. y is equal to mx. And then I have my B is 50.54. So now I have it in slope intercept form. And so now step four tells me, hey, let's rewrite this as a, a function. Well, that's easy. A function is just replace the Y with an F of X, essentially. So four says that's the same as a, the function of X is equal to 0.02X plus 50.54. So it's, this is telling me global average temperature is a function of the average carbon dioxide concentration. Okay, and this is how I calculate the global average temperature. So step number five here, let's use the function to make a prediction. We wanna know, hey, what's the temperature when we hit 560 parts per million? Okay, come down to here, five. What is F, what's the value of the function when the input value, the X value is 560? Well, I'll substitute 560 in, and I always, almost always use parentheses when I substitute. And then I'll do the math with a calculator, and I have 61.74 degrees. So there you have it. Okay, uh, as you're looking at, you know, if you've got a realistic situation like this one, and you know a couple of points, well, it's fairly simple to come up with the slope, put it in point slope form, rewrite it in slope intercept form, and then rewrite it as a function. And now you can answer lots of questions regarding, hey, what value, you know, this value, uh, uh, excuse me, the average carbon dioxide concentration value, gives me what average global temperature.